Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am making expectation versus reality video. You guys, I am so excited for this video because I haven't done expectation versus reality video in such a long time time i picked whole bunch of kits that i was interested from amazon and i shared all of them with you on my instagram page ao balloons and you guys voted for the winning balloon garland kit let me scoot you closer and show you which one won the whole voting thing let's go moment of truth you guys and this is the winning balloon garland kit this is the picture that i posted on my instagram page and you voted for it you want to see an expectation versus reality on this setup over here i absolutely love this setup very beautiful color palette it looks very festive and very very nicely constructed but then I look even closer and what do I see? It's photoshopped, woo! No, 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 no. I don't use the word hate often, but I absolutely hate when sellers take somebody's looking amazing picture and they edit something into it just to sell their product. Why? All I can say, looking at the picture and looking at the kid that's laying like right there, I'm gonna have so much fun. And now let's dive into the description of this kit and see what we are working with today. So this kit is metallic blue silver confetti purple metallic balloon garland kit that will include 132 pieces. This kit is currently unavailable and they don't know when it will be back in stock i paid a little bit over the 19 dollars for this kit we are working with 18 12 and 5 inch balloons now we know a little bit about this kit let's go unpack it and uh, try to inflate the balloons and see what we can create out of it and this is what I received after ordering this kit. Let's open this up because I'm very curious to see what we have inside. In this balloon garland kit looks pretty promising. I am very excited. Now we have a whole bunch of balloons. Then we have a balloon strip to construct our balloon garland, curling ribbon to hang our balloon garland, and we have... Uh, only two confetti balloons in 18 inch which i don't understand in the picture they showed us six confetti balloons or something like that around there this is not nearly enough to recreate that picture that they advertised this kid with a smell so let's inflate i am using my electric balloon pump from lp balloons i will link this pump in the description under this video before i'll tell you what i am planning to do with these balloons i want to explain why am i doing expectation versus reality videos because this is very important to and these videos they do have really good meaning behind it and good reason why i started doing this I want to make you aware as consumers what's going on online and uh, what people do to promote their product. It can be a horrible product, but it can be a beautiful picture. With this being said, here's the um, backstory of what happened and how it all started. One time I saw a beautiful, beautiful picture on Amazon and I fell in love. I wanted to review that kit I bought two of those kits in hopes of getting exactly what's on the picture. I started unpacking the balloons, I started inflating balloons and constructing, and it hit me. Uh, colors are different, way different than it was supposed to be. Uh, colors don't match the description, and it was a total, total mess. I was very, very upset with what I received, and from that video, I kind of started doing expectation versus reality videos. I hated the idea of sellers taking somebody's picture and selling their own product under somebody's picture. First things first, I can't stop saying this enough. If you take somebody's picture, you're stealing, first of all. Second of all, 
If you're stealing somebody's picture and you want to sell something under that picture, live up to that picture, grab enough balloons for your kid to recreate that picture that you're planning to post. If you sell something, you need to set up your own product and show the truth. As, as consumers, we can fall into this trap of gorgeous setup, bite and be disappointed. You expect something and then you receive and it's 100% totally different. So my goal with expectation versus reality videos is to show you that you can't believe every single picture that you see on internet. My best advice for those who's purchasing balloon garland kits on Amazon is to go to review section and see what's going on. How many stars, why people like it, why people don't like it. If people post pictures, look at it and make sure that you like that product in real time pictures. I always do that. I save so much money for myself because I'm telling you, if I would buy every single product, buy the pictures that seller is advertising that product with, I would be broke, honestly. So don't underestimate all of the reviews. Go through them, be smart, and then purchase. I'm just telling you right now, be aware of those beautiful pictures. Look closely. If something is edited in those pictures, scroll scroll and run far away from those pictures from those listings don't buy it because this is false advertisement well you guys that was a long explanation i hope it made sense why am i doing this so here's what i'm planning to do looking at the picture of this listing i can tell that this balloon garland is very voluminous and 137 balloons won't be enough a hundred percent a hundred percent i am taking same color balloons and i am inflating them into different sizes something like this and this balloon's a little bit bigger this one's a little bit smaller this next step that i'm about to do is absolutely optional you don't have to do this but if you like your balloons to be more on the rounder side you press your balloons against the floor to give your balloons more rounder shape and then tie these balloons into a pair i am tying these balloons pretty close together because i need my tails of balloons being very long and stretchy i will be using those in construction of our balloon garland so another thing <laughs> there's a lot to uncover a lot to uncover you guys are you ready buckle up because i told you it's gonna be fun so this color that i just blew is white i don't see white here on this picture i only see it's kind of pearly pearlescent whitish looking balloons but not white whatsoever for the rest of my balloons i will be doing exactly the same thing what i did with my white pair of balloons inflate and pair i won't be mixing all of the colors together i am working with one color at a time let's go they're inflated and i'm ready to pair them guess what 137 balloons will never give you exactly what's on a picture i uh, doubt that this will be half of what they advertised in the picture here is what i will be doing with my confetti balloons so as you can see i pre-inflated my balloons individually and i tied them individually by looking at this balloon, it's not translucent whatsoever. And guess what? This balloon, these two balloons are heavily treated with powders. They're like covered in this dust or chemicals. I don't know. These balloons stink. They do stink. And by the time I inflated every single balloon, my nose was itching. I wanted to sneeze. And uh, even when I speak and I grab a air inhale air to get more air to speak i can taste it in my throat so not the best smelling balloons over here so two hands grab it rub it everywhere this way i am creating static inside of my balloon and my confettis will start to stick to my balloon 
And one more thing about this confetti balloon, nothing even close to the picture because these are regular confettis and on the picture they showed that confettis will be cut up foil, you know what I mean? Like different, totally different style confettis. And even when I rub on this balloon, this dust is not coming off. So this is, yeah. Rub, rub, rub until your confettis will stick to the walls of your balloon. Sometimes you can give it a shake and rub some more. Let's do exactly the same to our second balloon. They don't even want to stick anymore to the walls of this balloon. Uh, another thing that you can do to stick your confetti to your balloon, you can use a high float. I don't like high float because whenever high float dries inside of your balloon, it will turn your balloon foggy after a little bit of time and I don't like that I used to use a piece of paper towel or a towel to rub on my balloon and those two things were leaving white marks on my confetti balloons and I didn't like that so I switched to my hands but sometimes balloons and confetti just don't want to static and this is the best that I could do so now let's cluster and quad our balloons I am grabbing same pair colors of balloons and I am interwining them together into a quad. Quad is four balloons together. Grabbing another pair and adding into this quad. Interwinding everything nice and tight together into a smaller cluster like this. I will be making quads, four balloons together, and I will be making smaller size uh, clusters of balloons as well. Light balloons, they do blow larger than their actual size. So I try to inflate some of them bigger than 12 inch balloons to give more variety. Why I did that, I'll let you know a little bit later. These balloons are very heavily treated. As you can see, they even stained my fingers and they feel absolutely disgusting. Let me go wash my hands, I'll be back. Let's construct this balloon garland. I am taking clusters of balloons, reaching in and grabbing necks of balloons from both of my clusters and tying those necks together. I love this technique. It's a lot faster than anything else and it gives your balloon garland a very organic look. Oop. And cheaper balloons necks can snap on you super fast. So let's try this again with a different neck. Okay, and this will hold your balloons, your clusters nice and tight together. Looking at this picture, this kit has a lot of 18 inch balloons all over the installation. So I wanted to at least have as close as possible to 18 inch. That's why I inflated these white as big as I could. My balloon garland to my backdrop with safety pins and that curling ribbon that was included in this kit. Attaching more clusters and quads to the base of our balloon garland to build this garland up more and I will be attaching extra balloons by the necks of balloons. This is my final balloon garland. I used all of the balloons that were included in this kit. I didn't use balloon strip that was included in this kit. I used necks of balloons to construct this whole thing. Why I didn't use a balloon strip to construct this balloon garland? Because I wanted to recreate the picture that they advertised this kit with and to recreate that picture using balloon strip wouldn't be impossible because this kit only included balloon strip and curling ribbon. That's about it. They didn't include any glue dots. How am I supposed to achieve whatever's on the picture without at least glue dots? So 
this kit in my opinion is not well thought out these two confetti balloons they're kind of out of place here i would get rid of them or add more confetti balloons there's only two of them and this kit should have included at least at least five or six confetti balloons so i mean quality of these balloons they're okay they're not the best i did lose three balloons out of this kit i am curious to know how this whole thing will stay out through the night will it be inflated will it lose more balloons with this being said i really want to go into all of the reviews and see what people think about this kit am i the only one who don't really like this kit or there's more people that think like me so first review five star they like the kit they like how easy it was to assemble second uh, dull colors not metallic i am guessing that they constructed this balloon garland somewhere with exposure of an outdoor that's why they went matte and they were not happy about the matte look of balloons another review is saying that these colors are cute but they were super hard to blow up and my fingers hurt as it was hard to tie up the balloons in a knot in order to close them i kind of agree because this kit did not include balloon tying tool if you would be inflating these balloons individually and tying them individually your fingers will hurt and i agree that these balloons did not blow hard well i had a hard time with a few of those they were not stretching but a few balloons were blowing into weird shapes so that's another kind of like a minus uh, for this kit moving on these balloons do not blow properly and for what i paid they're not worth it's better off going to dollar store cheap product most of the balloons did not stay inflated the balloons had bad odor when you opened the package i agree i had to open the window and i couldn't get rid of those powders in my nose and it was hard i was sneezing i hope this video helped you out in understanding what to look for and what to avoid when trying to purchase a balloon garland online if you have any other questions leave them in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up they always help if you're new here hit the subscribe button down below for more videos so i hope all of you will have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye this is the next day i came down to check on this balloon garland and i am happy with what i see no deflation i still don't understand uh, these two confetti balloons here but overall looking good